I'm Matt from Wessex Garages, and this is the Kia EV9. The EV9 is a fully electric SUV, available as a six or seven seater, with a combined driving range of up to 349 miles. The model we're featuring here is the GT Line S, finished in Pacific Blue with 21 inch alloy wheels. In total, there are three trim levels to choose from. Air, GT Line, and GT Line S, in a choice of standard and premium paint finishes. The GT Line and GT Line S sit at the top of the EV9 range. Both these models are fitted with dual electric motors and all-wheel drive, whereas entry-level air versions are rear-wheel drive with just one single motor. This is also reflected in both performance and battery range, which we'll cover shortly. Design-wise, the EV9 is very striking, bearing a close resemblance to its concept car origins. It's big too. 5 metres long, 1.8 metres tall and nearly 2 metres wide, weighing in at 2.6 tonnes, making it Kia's largest SUV to date. At every angle, it looks fantastic. The imposing front end features vertical matrix LED headlights and slim daytime running lights, along with a pixelated lighting pattern on the front grille, which gives the impression that it's wider than it really is. Moving to the side, 21-inch alloy wheels fill the arches nicely, with gloss black mouldings enhancing that muscular stance. Roof rails also come as standard, along with darkened rear privacy glass. The stylish design continues as we move to the back of the car, with a rear roof spoiler, large rear window, and attractive LED light clusters complementing its look. If you thought the exterior looked good, I think you'll be just as impressed with the interior, which feels luxurious and upmarket. The seats, made from synthetic leather upholstery, are incredibly comfy and supportive. The massage function on the driver's seat takes comfort to another level. It's like having your own personal masseuse with you on every journey. And when you turn on the heated seats, you'll never want to get out of the car. Upcycled and plant-based materials have been used throughout and thanks to its large proportions, there's plenty of head and leg room for even the tallest of passengers, including those sat in the third row, with the whole interior feeling airy and spacious. The seats in the second row adjust forwards and backwards to maximise space. Adjustments can be made for the backrest and for the base of the seat. And as you can see, at five foot eight, I've got plenty of headroom and legroom sat here in the third row. Positioned in front of the driver sits this large digital display, which consists of three screens, two of which control the infotainment and driving functions, and a smaller screen for the climate control. With this GT Line S model, you can spec it either as a six or seven seater. When you specify the six-seat option, you gain the benefit of having seats that swivel up to 180 degrees, which means when parked up, you can turn to face your passengers in the third row. Boot space is a very respectable 333 litres, with all seats in the up position. Increasing to van-like proportions of 2,320 litres when all rear seats are folded flat. There's even storage under the bonnet in the illuminated front, which is the ideal place to store the supplied charging cables. And as you'd expect on a car of this size, there are lots of ingenious and well-placed storage areas in both the front and rear of the car. As I mentioned earlier, each model comes with a high level of standard equipment and an equally impressive level of tech. Even with the entry-level air, you'll find features such as synthetic leather upholstery, 
Apple CarPlay, satellite navigation, wireless phone charging, power tailgate, 360 degree parking camera with front and rear parking sensors, smartphone controlled digital key, fingerprint recognition, and a host of apps accessed via the digital dashboard displays. Other features include three climate zones covering each row of seats, six USB sockets, and a 240 volt socket to plug items such as camping fridge or e-bike into. This model also gains front and second row sunroofs, heads up display, a powerful 14 speaker sound system and electric tilt and telescopic steering column adjustment. The EV9 also comes with a dazzling array of safety features. Some of these include intelligent speed limiter, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, autonomous emergency braking, and nine airbags that even cover the third row of seats. This car also supports level three autonomous driving and providing the person behind the wheel monitors its progress and is ready to intervene when prompted, it will literally drive itself. It can also park itself without assistance from the driver. And on those occasions when you've come back to your parking space, only to find cars on either side have parked far too close, a simple press of a button on the key fob will activate the remote parking assist function and your EV9 will autonomously glide in and out of the space for you. Out on the road, the EV9 is a strong performer. This all-wheel drive dual motor version produces 378 brake horsepower and 700 newton meters of torque, enabling it to reach 0 to 62 in just 5.3 seconds which is very impressive considering its size and weight. All models are fitted with a 100 kilowatt Leon polymer battery producing 318 kilowatts. Where the models differ is in the way they perform. The single motor rear wheel drive entry level air model produces a respectable 200 brake horsepower and 300 newton meters of torque with a 0 to 60 time of 9.4 seconds. Although it may be lower in performance compared to the twin motor versions, it does have its advantages, with a combined battery range of up to 349 miles compared to the GT Line S's 313. Handling wise, the EV9 is actually very good. The steering is precise and it's very easy to control. Ride quality is absolutely superb. The suspension rides the bumps really well and feels very smooth at high speeds. And when you consider it's not relying on air suspension or active dampers, it goes to show just how much work Kia have done to make it this comfortable. Fitted with all-wheel drive, this GT Line S benefits from increased traction and additional grip, especially useful when road conditions worsen. It also makes a great towing car with a 2,500 kilogram towing capacity, which only the BMW iX can match. When it comes to charging, having a combined 313 mile range, you won't be making frequent stops to top up. But if you do need to stop en route, find an ultra fast charger and you'll have 154 miles in just 15 minutes. Wait a little longer and in 24 minutes, you'll go from 10 to an 80% charge. When charging from home using the Kia approved wall mounted pod point charger, a full charge can be achieved in under 10 hours. You can also check the status of the battery from the comfort of your own home using the Kia Connect app, which gives you the option to schedule a charge if you benefit from off-peak kilowatt rates. So there we have it, the Kia EV9, the all-electric seven-seat SUV with a combined driving range of up to 349 miles. For more information and to arrange a test drive, please visit the Wessex Garages website. Alternatively, visit us at our dealerships in Bristol, Gloucester, Cardiff and Newport where our team will be more than happy to help you.